Using your energy to truly manifest is a real thing. It does take time, but it is real. It is not really, I've, I've seen lots of videos and lots of videos that explain manifestation in the sense of you think it, you got it. It's really, it goes a little deeper than that. Some people get discouraged because they think, hey, I'm thinking it, I'm writing it on my vision board. I got all the pictures up on my wall and it is not happening. Slow down, slow down. That's okay if it's not happening because that's not your way of manifesting. One person's way of manifesting is not the same as the next person's manifesting. We are all full of immense energy and it is very important that you recognize your own energy. Not that you have to mimic the next person's energy because that has nothing to do with you. It could possibly be helpful, maybe some theories, some concepts, you can grab onto those things, learn from it and it helps you out. But it doesn't mean that that has to be your experience exact energy. You are your own person. You are your own being. You are your, on your own ascension process. And that is what you need to focus on. How do you tune into this energy? How do you tune into your energy? That is what is most specific. First of all, we need to start breaking down the human logic. When you break down human logic, you have to, what, what I mean by that is literally creating a new mindset for yourself. Not a mindset that's toxic or extremely overly positive. That's not the point. Of course, we need to have balance. There is always a middle ground, but it is really about, in a sense, becoming more positive, but becoming more positive in a beautiful way that works for you. Reality is still gonna be happening, but it's a new version of reality. <laughs> When you are doing things for yourself, for your energy, everything really starts to come together. It takes time because I'm not saying it doesn't, it does take time, it's not gonna happen overnight, but it is up to you to take the steps that you need to take to manifest, to create, to use your energy. You are a light pillar. Do not anybody tell you less. You are literally energy that is brought here to earth to make whatever it is you dream of to happen, as long as it is the right thing for you. If you know there's certain habits you need to break, you need to break those habits because that is what's gonna tune you into your energy more. If you know there's things you need to, people you need to cut out, you need to cut them out because that your energy needs to be more attuned to itself. When you do certain steps for yourself, whatever works for you, right? Because what works for me doesn't mean it has to work for the next person. You need to figure it out on your own. How do you figure it out? Relax, stay still, be with your thoughts. Don't run from them. You're never gonna solve anything running from anything. Nothing ever gets solved from running away from it and I would know because I was that person. You can't run away from problems. You literally need to resolve them. Nobody's gonna come down and solve it for you. You are the problem solver for your life. That's why I say it's not that you need to mimic the next person because whatever my problems were, I handled it one way that worked for me. It doesn't mean it's gonna work for the next person and so on and so forth. So you really need to learn who you are first so that way you can slowly begin to break down certain habits, observe yourself so you can break down those habits. That way you can move forward with yourself and go into the next realm, your next mindset. That way you can level up for yourself because you are the only person that can level up for yourself. You can watch as many videos as you want and you can read as many things as you want, but if you're not putting in the effort, then it's not gonna happen. It's kind of like the red car theory. So let's get into that a little bit. Let's say I was to ask you how many red cars you saw today. You probably don't remember, you, you don't know because you weren't paying attention, right? But let's say I tell you, hey, tomorrow I want you to notice how many red cars you pass by, how many red cars you see, and let me know the number you see you're really gonna start paying attention. Let's say I was gonna give you some money, like $10 for every red car you saw or whatever. You're gonna start paying attention to all the red cars, right? That's the same way opportunity works. If you're really shutting yourself down because of fear and you're not, going, you're not doing more because you feel fear or you feel stressed or you feel overwhelmed or you feel lazy or whatever it is that you're feeling, if you don't step out of that, you're never gonna really find the opportunities because you're not looking. Now that, that, now that I'm telling you, pay attention to the red cars, you're gonna pay attention to every single red car. That's how opportunity works. You need to pay attention to all the opportunity. Opportunities aren't gonna come to you just because you're sitting down or you're full of fear, or you're unmotivated or you're, no. Opportunity comes to you because you're looking for it. And many opportunities will come to you because you're looking for it. Then it's up to you to decide what opportunity works best for you, for your blueprint, for your life. And maybe that might change over time, right? You might feel one way this year, 
Next year, you might feel a whole nother way. But as long as it's improvement, that's all that matters. It doesn't have to be the same as long as it's improvement. Things will change. Who I was six months ago isn't who I am right now. Things consistently change. The more you learn, the more you're open, the more you experience, the more things change. And that's okay. That's the beauty of it. Growth, all of that, that growth is evolution that is it all comes together it's that's the whole point you are here to learn and if you stagnate yourself you're gonna have a stagnated life if you don't look for those red cars you never will find the red car so it's like opportunity you don't look for the opportunity you're not really gonna find the opportunities because you're not putting yourself out there to look for it do i mean put yourself out there as in you have to be on the social media and stuff no i'm not saying that what i'm saying is what you do, who you are, who you communicate with, where you go, all those things play a part. If you're consistently just partying and in the clubs, what opportunities are you going to find in there? Nothing. There's a lot of lost people that go to the clubs and parties. Some people go for fun. I understand. I used to be there. But over time, you start realizing that's not really the case in those scenes. And you need to move away from that because you need to grow and you you don't want to be stagnated all your life unless you choose to. Again, like I've discussed before and f- with free will, it is up to your free will. But if with your free will, you decide, I want more, I want vision, I want manifestation, then you take those steps. It is not going to come to your door just because you're reading a couple of memes and watching a couple of videos about it. You immerse yourself into it. You, you dig deep within yourself and find what truly matters for you, what truly you want to put your energy towards. So that way you can begin to actually manifest and create these things that are meant to occur for your life. And they will occur because God will make it occur. He'll be like, wow, this person is making a change. This person is making a difference. I will, I will sprinkle a glitter all over this person and help them grow because that is how it works. We are all here for the same reason. We are trying to ascend. We simply forgot. And this all this 3D earth with all the materialism, all the fast pacedness, it makes you forget. Slow down. Slow down and remember who you are. Slow down and be in tune. Slow down and get to know yourself. Slow down and observe. And it's not that you're going to observe to judge others. Just observe yourself. That is your only job. All this other stuff is is minimal. It's It can be fixed. It could be changed. It can be but it starts with you, your energy when there's a rubber band effect. Okay. So you can end up putting a lot of work, right? For a couple of months. And then you might feel like, wow, this isn't really doing anything for me, baby. You are planting the seeds and trust the seeds that you have planted because they will grow. Not every single seed would grow, but every, every, every other seed will grow and seeds will grow, right? So don't get discouraged because maybe some things you did didn't flour- um, flourish the way you thought they were going to flourish. Let it play play itself out and just continue. That is your job. That is all you must do and stay positive and lighthearted and be understanding of the process. It is a process. God does not give you things because you feel entitled to it. I'll never forget a few years back when before where I'm at now, I I remember I had gone through like a breakdown because I had felt like I had put so much work into everything. I changed so much. And I was about two years in from having a lot of things that I had changed. And I remember I was crying and I was like, well, I did all these things like, and God is not answering me. Right. And that was like my ego speak. That was my ego speaking at the time until I, I, I remember I said it out loud and then I thought, no, 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 no. That's not your truth. Just relax. All these seeds are being planted and trust the process. I trusted the voice when I heard it. I trusted the voice when it told me, baby, you are planting them seeds and you are doing it right. Be patient. And (laughs) I am beyond grateful because that is literally what ended up happening. After After a few months of that, everything broke through and things started really making sense. If you would have given me those things a few months back, or during that time and those few years ago, I wouldn't have handled it anyways. Now I can handle it because of where I'm at now. All that, what I thought was anxieties and stressors and I had to rewire my brain. They are not anxieties and stressors. These are stepping stones to the next level and I must take these stepping stones if I want to get to that level. That is the way it works. Don't be scared of your process. Step on the stepping stones and keep moving forward. Do not give up. People will come. People will tell you all kinds of things. Well, this didn't work for me. That didn't this. That work for you, baby. Work about, work with yourself, figure it out, find where you're, where it truly resonates with you, work through it and it'll come together. 
I'm not saying be stubborn about it because that's the point of being open. You're being open to all opportunities. If you know one thing has is kind of leading you into another, but it's the next level and it's better for you, go for it. It doesn't mean you're giving up on one thing. It means this is where your soul is flourishing now. This is where your soul is meant to be. And every single time you kind of do those things and you work through all those different things, all those situations, all those decisions, all of that, it starts to come together. It's not going to come together with you stressed out laying around about it. It comes together when you put your mind, heart, and soul into it. And when you really dig, dig, dig deep and decide this is what's for me and this is what I'm going to do. We are a whole new breed, okay? This with all the information at our fingertips, with all the things that you can get your hands on and learn and read, there is no excuse. You can use your energy for the right things for yourself and to move yourself forward. Do not think that is not for you. It is for you. It is because it's for everybody. Energy is for everybody. God's energy is for everybody. We all have a God-given gift of beautiful energy within us and we are allowed to use it how we feel is fit for us. That's what all you need to do. Don't sleep on yourself. Continue to move forward. Make the right steps for yourself. Make the right reactions and the right actions. And begin to rewire your brain to know that everything's okay. And you simply just need to learn more, experience more, create more, and find a way to be in tune with yourself. Like I said, it might not be exactly how I did it. You will find your way. Find those steps for yourself. It's possible. Change your life. It is literally possible. Beyond possible. It's possible. <laughs> Change your life. You can, you can do it. And I believe in you because I believed in myself and I was able to do it. And so much has changed since then. And it's been very, very worth it. And you're very worth it. So you'll find your way to do it too if you truly, truly feel like this is your lifetime for it. So sending much love to everybody. Do everything you got to do to get to where you got to go because you are the only one that can save yourself. Peace.